I've been uh, thinking about doing the Maid of the Mist and yesterday was just so epic I just don't even want to touch it. So God willing I'll have a chance to come back and have my passport and go to the Canadian side too and ride the Maid of the Mist that time. Maybe even bring a friend. So yesterday was just so beautiful I just don't even think I could add to it. So today is a new day and we are headed out on another adventure. Hi Carol. Good morning Penny. God bless. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it was a tractor. I was like, what? What was that? It is a gorgeous day, y'all. I pray you have been having a good morning. I talked to mom and dad. They still hadn't watched my video from yesterday. <laughs> I told them, I said, and I, met, I might have exaggerated a little bit, I don't know, but I said, I said, let's put this in the right perspective. Hundreds of people have watched the video from the solar eclipse, but my own parents have not. <laughs> so they said they were, they were going to get off the phone and watch it right then and there. So we'll see. I said, well, let me know what you think. <laughs> hey, Patriot Roy, good morning. I hope y'all can hear me. I got the windows open. It is just gorgeous out. I even have short sleeves on. After that chilly weather yesterday, this is really a change. It's very nice. So we're, we're hitting the road and sort of making our way, sort of, to Maryland via the Finger Lakes. <laughs> I've always wanted to see the Finger Lakes and they're only three hours away. <laughs> Just a hop and a skip. And they have a beautiful waterfall there. And I've forgotten the name of it already. It starts with a T. And we may we may go and see that today. Good morning, Penny Gregory. Good morning, Anne Marie. God bless y'all. If, if the wind noise is too much, let me know, but it is beautiful out. Might be too much for me eventually. Absolute blessings. Let me see. So it is, uh, has anyone been to Toganock Falls State Park to the Toganock Falls and the Toganock Gorge. Then there's also there's all kinds of state parks around there because it's the Finger Lakes. But we had to go that way anyway. Ooh, dusty. All right, I'll cut down the wind noise some. Let's see. There we go. Um, oh, that's so awesome. Thank you so much, Penny. Oh, I'm glad mile, you love it. Slide right onto Stone Road. That's great. It's flat out pouring this morning. Brenda, that's so weird. <laughs> Bless your heart. No walking to the mail today. All right, we're going to do a road change here. Let me see. Take the next right onto Stone Road. All righty. If I can. There's all kinds of wineries around here. Continue for five miles. Even though it's, it's really very flat. I thought you had to have hills or something for wineries. If I don't answer right away, I'm listening and cutting bacon for my fri fried... Oh, you're making homemade fried cabbage? Oh my gosh. I just tried that for the first time, I'm not even kidding you, just like a few years ago, at the Southern 
the Southern Cafe or the Southern Restaurant over on the Eastern Shore where you can get some really good Southern food. Good morning, Egon. It's a gorgeous day. We're heading kind of east right now, so the sun is right in our eyes, but it won't be for too long. I drove um, the scenic byway uh, the same way we went yesterday to Whirlpool, uh, to Whirlpool Falls State Park. And I stopped off at Devil's um, Hole State Park and got a hold of my parents on the phone, was talking to them, and then I drove out without going and looking over the railing at Devil's Hole. <laughs> so God spared me whatever that view was. <laughs> <laughs> thought that was pretty funny. Good morning, Melissa. You'll take the truck about 1,500 feet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Wait till it. Wait till it stops raining. The mail can wait. I just drove, I drove right out without going in the sand. That's <laughs> right there. <laughs> oh my goodness. It was right there next to the power plant, so it probably was, we saw, we saw it like the long view from yesterday. So I don't think, I'm sure it was nice, but maybe not. <laughs> and he's not good with heights? Oh no. You would have had trouble at the falls. No buffering. Okay, you're I'm turning the um, I'm turning the air on. The phone's getting hot. You're not gonna see my um watermark which is okay but that'll help keep the phone cooler i'm live streaming to rumble as well as youtube so welcome to anybody who's watching over there on rumble i can't see who it is but um but i'm so grateful to the people that are helping me to build that up over there if you haven't liked and subscribed um over on rumble if you haven't subscribed on rumble yet please do it's it's glory be freedom and um to ease and be, of course, because uh, we've got to build that up because we just never know with YouTube. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to remember to live stream the both from now on. Boy, this is taking us down some small roads. We're less than three hours away though. Wow, it was pretty amazing. 
including the visuals from my my raindrop uh, on my lens. <laughs> I was like, what's happening? I thought it was like the northern lights or something. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's amazing the joy that a raindrop can bring. <laughs> Remember that today while it's raining, Brenda. <laughs> It touches the major lakes. Um, I'm cutting over to the Finger Lakes. I'm cutting over to the Finger Lakes. We're going to uh, Toganock State Park to Toganock Falls. Oh, I see. Oh, tw I think 20 is north of me, though. Yeah, 20, 20 is way north of me. doing this all along because I flipped the page. That's right. Okay, let's see. So did I want to go 20 and then go down? I was looking at it wrong. Let me see. It goes across the top of the lakes. Toganok is on Cayuga Lake, southern part. Right. Okay, so I guess this is cutting me down to the southern part. Am I messing up? Welcome to the hive. This is the beehive. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh, look, the winery. Southern Park. In half a mile, turn right to stay on North Canal Road. We're going to Toganock State, uh, Toganock Falls State Park on the Finger Lakes of New York. go the way my GPS says. Okay. It's all Turn new to right me. to stay on North Canal Road. You know, I just, I get out on the road and I'm just never ready to go home yet. But we've got big things coming up this weekend. Continue on North Canal Road for one and a half miles. Um, the, uh, Save Our Children rally at the Capitol and at every capital state uh, state capital in every state is this weekend and uh, I'll be covering the one at the United States Capitol in Washington DC and then um, on the 16th we'll be at uh, SCOTUS for the hearing on um, oh, 15, oh, what's the name of it? Uh, it's, it's, the, it's the charge that they've been slapping on the J6ers that belongs in corporate America, but not on people practicing their First Amendment rights um, that may have gotten out of hand for some of them. Um, and uh, it's bringing some of their sentences to like 20 years. It's unjust, and it has made it to the Supreme Court, thank God. So that will be outside. Some of us might might camp out overnight, and uh, which really means sitting in a chair all night long outside to try to get in, because there's only 50 seats inside of the, um, the judge's uh, courtroom. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. In a quarter <laughs> mile, turn left onto New York 31 so East. So we'll see. Marie, there's a little gross fact. <laughs> like, um, that's kind of like, that bum named his LLCs after the lake. Oh, left onto New York 31 East. Who knew? Oh no, this just became political. <laughs> Hunter Biden's tattoo of the finger legs. Ew. <laughs> That's interesting. I did not know that. This is very rural. Rural America. 
Continue on New York 31 East for 11 miles. Are we traveling searching for someone? No, we're traveling because we're free to do it today. Part of, part of my channel, all my, my entire channel is political, including our adventure field trips, because I believe, and most, most people that um, are in my chat on a regular basis believe that our freedoms and our constitutional republic is being chipped away at death by a thousand cuts and um, that if more Americans don't wake up open their eyes and start doing something like calling their senators reaching out to their congress members letting them know that this will stop that quite frankly our uh, constitutional republic will be on its way like to the fast track of being over if God forbid the WHO uh, the WHO treaty is signed into agreement. They're calling it an agreement. The Senate has refused to review it as the treaty that it is. And uh, in just a few short weeks here, uh, if, if we don't stop it now, we're pretty much not the republic that we used to be. Straight up. It's a lot, hard, it's a lot easier to keep something that's in place, even if only technically, than it is to get it back. And we're about to lose it. So, what that will mean and why the adventures along with the um, rallies and the marches and the protests and the vigils and uh, we do the field trips because this is our great America and we want to keep it free because if it, if it becomes one world order we will not be able to, we will not be able to reach these places anymore we won't be free to travel as we wish um, They'll take away our gasoline. They'll basically lock us down. And that sounds very uh, end of the world, uh, depressing and dirge, very dark. But that's pretty much the reality we're facing. It, it, truly, if we don't do something very quickly, and, and what I'm aware of is we've got maybe two or three weeks. we got to stop that new agreement, which is really a treaty from being signed. we got to stop it. They've been chipping away at us for years. So, um, so along with all the, the things in D.C. and other places, you know, rallies, etc., that, that are very obviously political, we also take the field trips um, to enjoy. And part of what keeps me out here is uh, the making jewelry and uh, having the live auctions of it. Um, I, I do accept donations, contributions, which help immensely. And then I also uh, supplement to make sure that my bills get paid with uh, creating jewelry and having auctions, which is practicing the, the freedom of capitalism in our country. So it's all political, every last bit of it. And um, except for the spiritual aspect of it, where a source of hope for one another, strength and prayer to God and encourage one another and remind each other that God's bigger than all this. He's got a greater plan and we're all in it. So you, oh, Trudeau is a nutbag. <laughs> it is a horrible state of affairs. And Sandy, that's why I just enjoy so much when my brothers and sisters from Canada come in here because you all are under a lunatic leader as well. And, um, you know, nobody signed up for this except for the crazy uh, fascists. And um, we've got them too. And uh, there's something very evil influencing um, our, our elected officials, <laughs> so-called elected officials. Something very, very evil. Very evil people and organizations. And so, yeah, y'all are not in a very good state of affairs either. And uh, that's, yesterday was so great, all of us cheering for what is great, and that's God's supernatural, the solar eclipse. It was amazing. <laughs> I just felt that unity between us, Sandy. It was just terrific. Oh, thank you, Anne-Marie. Oh, I thank you so much. 
my health. Were y'all as amazed as I was at all the hiking I did? All the walking I did the last couple of days? I was a little concerned that I wasn't built up enough for it since I got sick uh, in Texas, um, from Texas, the cedar fever, and I just felt great. I could have kept on walking, but I knew I'd, I'd really pay for it if I did. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. I apologize for all the huffing and puffing, but we're building some lung strength too. <laughs> so I thank you for your prayers. God bless you. And I pray the same for you all. We have friends that are healing from injuries and um, from some health issues. And we're just, you all know you're always in our prayers for God. By his stripes, you are already healed and you are catching up to the healing. God bless you all. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, Missy. Oh my gosh, exactly. Uh, Melissa's Musings, if you all haven't signed up for her uh, YouTubes, she creates some amazing videos. Um, she's very smart how she puts those together. I absolutely love it. And um, Melissa's Musings, make sure you sign up. Y'all have to remind your guys, like we have governors, and the governors have more power over their state than the POTUS. Don't forget your sheriffs, too. And they work for us, exactly. Elected peers, not better than us equals. Amen. Quite frankly, a lot of them might think we are better than right now. <laughs> Spiritually. Spiritually, they are uh, not even in the same league. But we're praying that they join us. Always pray for the softening of their hearts. Don't forget that. Isn't it nice, Sandy? Not too bad. This is rural America right here. Probably looks very much the same in your part of America. North America. Although I must say, y'all did a bang-up job at Niagara Falls. It really looks spectacular from this side. We're in the village in Middleport. Awesome. Thanks, Carol. Love you. Yep, everybody get on board on Rumble. I'm also on Getter and X. I just don't do as much over there. X is a cesspool. Some really nasty stuff goes on over there. A lot of our opposition, the uh, Antifas, all hang out over there. That's nasty. They sent me text messages the other day because their calls won't go through. <laughs> it's like, whatever. Oh, look at old drive-in. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, the drive-in theater and it's still up and running. It's the slow roll to their global reset that you were talking about yesterday. If you don't pay, if you're not paying attention, you might not notice because, of course, they don't want us to notice. Exactly. They call us conspiracy theorists, but boy, are they going to be rudely awakened. They're flying their flag upside down and backwards, y'all, on that house back there. I don't know if you saw it. It was the White House. Did y'all see the flag? It was on the right. We're amongst patriots. You've got Abbott. Yep. He's a... He's an iffy character, too, but we sure appreciate what he's doing with the border. Finally. All of them that are doing anything, yep. It does, I know, Anne-Marie. Wasn't that something? And that is the truth. Oh, my gosh. That was the biggest, oldest weeping willow I've ever seen in my life. That was amazing. Governor for um, uh, Wes. Wes. See, I, don't even, I can't remember his name. I don't even know who he is. I don't know where he came from, and now he's governor of Maryland. He's a 
and um, not sure how far left he goes, but it doesn't even matter about right and left right now. It's it's down to good or evil. Away, you guys, I'm so excited. We're gonna see another waterfall. I hope. I hope I didn't look to see how long the hike was. <laughs> Maybe I should have looked it up. Anyone want to look up? Uh... <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Maybe we... there's a place called Buttermilk Falls nearby that I bet you that's doable. So we're gonna see another waterfall, regardless, right? <laughs> Yeah, I am. This is our great country. We got to remain free to come and see all the beauty that it has to offer. Oh my gosh! And the and the freedom to go over and see Canada too, because I haven't been to Canada yet. Sandy, uh, two days ago was the first time I ever set my eyes on Canada. I was so excited about it. I even dated a Canadian, a couple of Canadians back in the day, but never set my eyes on Canada, and I just got to finally. That was great. Alright, where are we going? We're going over here. Um, Taganak Falls State Park. So, how long is the hike from the trailhead to Taganak Falls? Tracy, good morning. From the oh, how is Teddy? How is Teddy? Teddy, how is Teddy? The new puppy is so cute, y'all. I bet he looks adorable. Send me a picture. Um, if y'all want to have more interaction. Um, I don't go on it all the time. I'm lousy about In friending people mile, over. Continue on to New York 31A East Maple Ridge Road. Right. I'm lousy about friending people over, but it is public, so we're able to share a picture or um, get on Messenger if we need to. You can also email me, but uh, my... Continue on New York 31A East for 23 miles. The RV was so tall I didn't see it, so I'm going to back off. Let me just cross the Pretty River. Awesome. That made you so happy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was so great. <laughs> and then you can also email me if you need to. Um, if I don't see your email, if I don't get back to you right away, um, it means I didn't see it or you didn't put in the subject line, uh, maybe put in there Glory B or something, something bumbles or something to catch my attention, let me know you're a friend. And, um, because, uh, the opposition likes to sign me up for things, which is a federal offense. Um, so I don't open, just open everything. So you gotta put in the subject line something friendly like Glory B's or bumbles or something. And, um. Email is glorybees2022 at gmail.com. You haven't looked into him, but I didn't trust. It definitely wasn't terrorism while in the same breath. We can't give you any answers because it's an active investigation about the Key Ridge. Um, right, right. So the captain has filed. Did you see that, Missy? The captain has filed um, with the courts uh, a letter stating that he uh, he and the crew had no involvement in the um, event that occurred. Um, and it's basically letting us know that there was po uh, quite possibly a GPS uh, hack. And um, there's a, there's a, I'm not saying anything definitively because I'm not an authority, but uh, there's a terrific site I said it the other day, now I'm going to have to think of what it's called again, uh, that a man who's been in shipping for many, many years, has he's been reviewing that. He, ship, he does all things shipping. And um, he had a great interview with uh, Lara Logan last week.
well, Biden, Biden and his administration wants us to pay for it because they swooped in there quick. They swooped in there really quick. And, um... Oh, it's Mom! <laughs> Alright, hang on, let me ask her real quick. Okay, I don't know if that was muted or not. I was talking to my dad. They finally watched the video. <laughs> Let me know if you can hear me. Um, Bay Bridge occasionally. I'd really like to know if there's a possibility that someone could hijack the ship's GPS and take it over. Of course there is, Melissa. I mean, I hate to tell you that, but of course there is. 
we don't know exactly that that's what happened, but uh, yeah, keep your eye on what Laura Logan's digging up. I think our, she's our best bet uh, for the truth. Um, yeah, being revealed. We need to pray, uh, pray prayers of protection over her. name of that guy's uh y'all would really enjoy watching that if you're following this so closely and melissa you definitely need to see it because i understand i, I go over the bridges all the time too you know i do so um and i used to go over the key bridge all the time my tandy leather's over there on the other side of the bridge now i got to find another way to get over there where i get my leather making supplies for our jewelry um Left uh, Niagara Falls, and we are headed to. I really have trouble with the name. This name. Uh, Taganoc, Taganoc. I bet you it's called Taganoc. Taganoc Falls State Park. To go see Taganoc Falls. Yes, Taganoc Falls. I'm freezing because I got to keep the phone cool. <laughs> Oh, it's buffering back and forth. People are dropping off. Oh, goodness. Well, I'm just going to keep on driving. And um, I'll keep it live as long as, as, as long as we get still hopping around. Cayuga Lake. It just sounds amazing. Often notice that too, Missy. Oh my goodness! <laughs> what does it mean? Nobody knows. <laughs> Very interesting. I know that makes you so nervous with the family too. It's crazy. Yeah, I don't think we'll ever go over the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. as calmly as we may have once, that's for sure. Now they have a whole TV show about the infrastructure of the bridges too. And, you know, like it's one of those disaster TV shows kind of, just like the airplane one. I think they're trying to, to um, ease us into not wanting to travel, quite personally. Another another one of the thousand cuts. Oh no! Oh my gosh! Missy, just put it in God's hands, hon. Remember, even with that short bit of warning, they were able to stop the traffic um, for the key bridge. So very unfortunate that the workers weren't able to get off. Missy, I could have I could have bypassed the Niagara Falls um, solar eclipse trip. 
because, you know, what a target that is with the power plants and everything else. It's right there, Canada and U.S. and it's, it's you know, I'm sure it's got to be one of the hot spots, but I was like, it's all in God's hands. until 9 o'clock. I was so tired. <laughs> it was just such a big day yesterday. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you saw the fireworks coming over, coming at us, straight at us um, from the Canadian side. What I didn't sh show you all is that I was, I was the only woman standing with a whole busload of young, um, maybe early 20s, uh, Hasidic uh, Jewish men. <laughs> at the railing there. I was one woman with about 30 uh, Has young Hasidic Jewish men watching those fireworks come straight at us and we're all like, wow! <laughs> that was great. <laughs> that was pretty interesting. They had just gotten off a bus just in time. <laughs> if the GPS takes you on Route 20 East, you will pass the tips of the lakes. If you come to Seneca Lake, Seneca Falls is right there. It's a wonderful, it's a wonderful life museum. I knew Seneca Falls sounded familiar. Oh, that's funny. I'm not gonna be that far north, I don't think, but that is really cool. I don't know how, I don't know how this, how this I'm on 31A now, 31A. That's awesome. You must you must love that area. It's, it's got to be beautiful. <laughs> Missy, I mean, you just never know what what Glory B is going to get into, do you? <laughs> I know if you were uh, if you had more free time to travel, you'd probably be about the same. <laughs> never know what you wind up in the middle of. Whatever it is, it's going to be different than everybody else. <laughs> what a great, great time. <laughs> High five. <laughs> Oh, welcome back, everybody. I guess it's going to buffer from time to time. We're pretty rural here, but we've got a, a perfect signal now. It's pretty old barns. I really want to add some more hot water to my coffee. This is just wonderful. I got up and I went right to a nearby uh, gas station, got my hot water. And a croissant made my coffee, made a, um, I had made egg salad that's really good with um, Old Bay seasoning in it, made a um, egg salad sandwich, started getting my coffee, drinking my coffee, and we've been roaming ever since. It's delightful.
We're heading towards Bock, Bockport. Chapel. That's the old one. Clarendon Town Hall and Town Offices. Heading to Toganog, Toganog Falls in the Finger Lakes on our way home. It's only a few hundred miles out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God is so good. So grateful. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for your heads of protection over the mechanics of this vehicle and over the safety of everyone out on the roads today and the great people who help keep it all going. Thank you, Lord, in your holy name, Lord Jesus. Amen. have to head south soon. Oh, am I really? Since I'm only a couple hours away. I've never seen Rochester. <laughs> so am I above 20? Maybe it is going to take me 20. That'd be cool because I could go 20 and then just go 14 straight down from 20. Literally driving our homeschool group while trying to watch you and then we went to <laughs> group so I couldn't watch. And then my son had baseball practice later. <laughs> Bless your heart. You better be careful. What in the world? What? I just got a bunch of pot smoke in my car. Oh my god, somebody must have been driving the other direction and blew it out their window. Ugh. <laughs> what in the world? Sobriety, I'm gonna be stoned in a minute. Ridiculous. Free time I'd be sitting right there alongside you. I know that's right. I know. You've got a beautiful family. I'm I'm closer to Lake Ontario. Too far to see. No. Alright. Says you. <laughs> no, I didn't see a skunk. It was skunk, all right, but it wasn't a real skunk. <laughs> it's not funny, Brenda. <laughs> oh, I think I've tilted too far to the right. Let's see. There was a cool old home, really old home that they had built modern onto the back of it. That was a smart job back there. That's a little straighter. Oh. oh! I love all these weeping willows. They're so old. Do y'all see these? They're so old. Enormous. That's what they are. Other people want to smoke 
their pot. Just leave me out of it. It's all good. Never did like that stuff. In a quarter mile, continue on to New York 31 East. Well, at least we know we're headed in the right direction. We're going east. Oh, maybe I can get some hot water in my coffee. Let's see, let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh, boy. I can't get the cups off. <laughs> Continue for 13 miles. Oh, I just love going places that we haven't been before. This is so, this, this trip has been awesome. I'm so grateful to share it with all of you. I really am. It just makes it just so much better. in Brockport now. SUNY. SUNY Brockport. This is SUNY uh, Nation here. Grocery stores are awesome. They have really good chocolate pie too, but we're not doing that today. Rockport College Town, okay. He poured me a gallon of vinegar in my sprayer and when Pete figured out why I was spraying him, he just stopped and rolled so I could spray all over. Pit boxer mix. Oh, I bet he's so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this, that's one of the ways you can train your dog for anybody who doesn't know. And this dog apparently likes it a lot. So he's like, go ahead, spray away. <laughs> Unless you were spraying weeds or something. Wegman started here in New York, Rochester. Oh, very good. <coughs> All right. We didn't have to pass the RV. It's moving off. I hit by that skunk. <laughs> I tell y'all what, I'm still tired. Oh. I'm going to need to get another uh, piece of foam for my um, for my bed back there or get a new uh, order the new bed off of the offline because it's 
carting in the middle because I used to be able to fold it in half to store it because I wouldn't leave it in the Subaru. The Subaru wasn't big enough just to leave it in there in the Outback. And um, so it's cut in the middle so I could fold it in half and now it doesn't want to stay close together anymore. So I tossed and turned a little bit last night but I still got pretty decent sleep. are about as good as Maryland's here. I like going in tractor trailer supply store uh, near where I live because sometimes you can see baby chickens. They're so cute. The noise that they make is just the chirping is so adorable. Thirty-five for a twin. Fold it down the center and fits the couch. There you go. Oh my gosh! Whatever helps you be comfortable right now. The purple foam mattresses, right? I have a bed in a box um, that I hated at first at home, but now it's it's pretty good. The mattress. Ganja, welcome. I'm still drinking my coffee too. <laughs> Brenda, that's funny that you said that. It's only two inches, but it's so comfy. Nice. <laughs> I um. The, the mattress, uh, the bed in the box foam mattress is so thick and tall that I thought, well, what if I cut a couple inches off of that and doubled it over and put it in the, um, in the van for, uh, to be my new mattress? That'd be four inches thick. And um, would the remaining ten inches of the foam be still enough for the, for the bed in the house? I think it would. It'd be hard to get a good cut though of that. I don't have a saw. <laughs> I'd wind up with foam like everywhere. <laughs> because it's so fun, Brendan, because they're so cute. Then you wind up with all those chickens to add to the chickens you already have. Good morning, third of its kind. How are you? We're, we're on our way to another adventure in upstate New York heading to the Finger Lakes. It's just a small detour to see Tal... Oh, no. I know, I keep forgetting the name. Toganock. Toganock Falls. At Toganock State... Toganock Falls State Park. You're 28 running around now? You're not. <laughs> Sell those eggs. I know you give them away. Tomorrow, last time I had to go in was 
April of 2021 because you work remote. Oh my gosh, isn't that wild? Are you going to have to start working from there or are you going to still work remote? <laughs> Amber, just keep, keep reminding me. It, I can't word associate with it, so I'm really having a hard time remembering it. Toganok on Cayuga Lake. Toganok Falls on Cayuga Lake. This is going to be so pretty. Gorgeous day for it. I thought we're already up here, and I've always wanted to go to the Finger Lake, so let's go. Cathedral, beautiful. Oh, McFly. Oh, yay. <laughs> I'm so glad you love it. Oh, my gosh. I can't thank you enough. God bless you. That was um, the hardwood, the hardwood humble heart that McFly got. Oh, at the last auction. I'm so grateful. It really is special, isn't it? You can see why I didn't want to um, seal it can't you? I, I, I did not. I polished it well. Um, but you can fidget the rest, fidget, fidget it into the most polished thing over the years. <laughs> that definitely did not need a uh, polyurethane on it or anything. I'm so glad you love it. That one was hard to part with, I can tell you. <laughs> Mostly remote. Oh, okay. Oh, got you third. Okay. That'd be a that'd be a drive every day, wouldn't it? It is different from the others. Yes, it is. It just evolved that way. The piece of the wood just evolved that way. Um, I turned it over and it, it faces a different direction than the other ones because um, because of the way it evolved while I was sanding it.
third wants to know if it's heavy. In two miles, use the left two lanes to take the I-490 east exit. It is, it is heavier than the other ones, but, it, but I wouldn't call it heavy. Because it is thicker. And it's hardwood. Um, I think yours is pine. Third. It does. Oh my gosh. It is congested over there near the cathedral. Hey, conservative. We're in um, New York somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, Anne Marie could probably tell us. So, let me see. Um, we're headed to Ta oh, Toganock Falls State Park on the Finger Lakes. In half a mile, use the left two lanes to take the I-490 East exit. Because it's it's uh, it's a detour, but it's not a terrible detour, and I've always wanted to see the Finger Lakes. So we're going to see another waterfall on the way home. And it's a two over a 200 foot straight drop. Use the left two lanes to take the I-490 east exit. Okay, we're on 490 to heading towards Rochester. Continue on I-490 east for 20 miles. I wonder if I wonder if I can get to 20 from here, Anne Marie. Okay, pay attention here. Okay. the grain. That was a cool one. That one, you just never know what the stand's going to do when it, uh, how the grain's going to pick it up. So cool. Very, very enjoyable uh, to see how they come out when I make them. A lot of sanding though, so a lot of love goes into those for sure. <laughs> suburb of Rochester, one of New York high crime. Ooh, okay. I'm glad I was able to get on the right road. But usually I take y'all to all the best places, don't I? <laughs> I've been to Greece, actual, actually Greece too. Athens, Greece is about the same. High crime. At least it was back then. That was a long time. 1984. <laughs> we'll be 
making some uh, agate uh, pieces again soon too, McFly. Straight ahead, when we come around this turn, you'll see Rochester. Or not, because of the semi. We'll see. Yep, here it comes. Ta-da! There's Rochester. I did, yeah, I did have it on and the phone was getting hot, so um, I, I took it off. I don't think I don't think there's a whole lot of copyright worthy material right now. Not any that I'm worried about. They can have it if they want it. <laughs> they take it anyway. <laughs> they do, they take it and then they abuse it. That's a weird looking building. Very strange looking building. It's coming. Oh, that's hysterical. Nice, third. I'm so glad to hear that. Y'all always have a good time hanging out. Far East. <laughs> but one day, one day I'm going to make it out there. It's been a lot of years since I've been to the Hamptons. Looking forward to going back sometime. Maybe this summer. Maybe I could go out there this summer. We'll see. It's all those tolls. It's so expensive. And I pray that I haven't cut myself over in a toll central too. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, well. It's too late now. I have in my GPS no tolls. I don't want it taking me over the key bridge that's not there anymore. <laughs> when I was driving out, I thought it was going to, I thought it, the directions, I was like, oh my gosh, I think it's trying to take me over the key bridge. So weird. And y'all, most of y'all had probably never even heard of the Francis Scott Key Bridge before. To me, it was just running an errand. <laughs> then it's gone. So crazy. Yeah, the tolls and the traffic on Southern State. I know it kills you every time you back and forth for you and uh, Jeffrey. Oh my goodness. I I miss Jeffrey. I hope I get to see you guys. I miss you too. It's been a while. I was definitely not playing favorites there. I miss both y'all. You and I were sick for a month, I think, right? Third had one thing. I had another. On the New York State Thruway 190 tolls are high. Ooh, that's good to know. Thank you. Because <laughs> I will stop all traffic and turn around. <laughs> this was this was a stretch, y'all, but it was a once in a lifetime. We had to go see it. We absolutely had to go see it. I'll pay for it later. No, I mean I I pay only cash, but I I'll pay I'll pay for it with crunch time later. <laughs> crunch time. We'll be having an auction soon, I can tell you that. <laughs> yes. And now April is just very busy for you, right, right? Back to the vigil, but can't probably until May. Oh, don't worry. Maybe um maybe you could try to come out for Memorial Day if you're not uh, someone else, but you know it's going to be there for this year anyway. Oh, wow, 
red, white, and blue stallion in the middle of the highway. That was cool. It was a statue. I don't know if y'all saw that or not. It was on the left. Sorry, I was right up on it. I couldn't show you. Amen. Memories for life. So worth it. Absolutely. I hope Jay's not going to... He really wanted me to go on the Maids of the Mist. I hope he's not going to be too important, uh, too disappointed. I'm not sure if he wanted to see it again or if he wanted to see my reaction to it. Because I'm kind of amusing. <laughs> I'm not sure which. But I pray he's not too disappointed. I just, I just didn't even want to touch yesterday trying to add to it. I really didn't. It was just so amazing. That's why we're doing something completely different today from Niagara Falls. My grandfather used to say, always leave the party while you're still having fun. And I'm sure that would have been fun to you, but I just didn't want to alter my experience from yesterday at all. Congestion pricing, what would I miss? The tolls, especially in Manhattan, are ridiculous. Another reason you're leaving. Good for you. Get out of there. Successful. There, there are some decent conservatives there that are trying to counteract the nasty socialist, communist stuff going on. But I don't, I don't think they're having much success so far. That's not really a, a left or right thing, honestly. It's, it's just a good or evil thing. I honestly, I, I, I would prefer personally, I'm going to try to change my language. And I never used to say right and left before all this. And I'm going to try to change my language to not say right and left anymore either. Because it really is good or bad. Good or evil. That's why I want to get away from saying right or left, quite frankly, because it isn't about uh, disagreeing in politics. That's not, that's why I want to get away from right or left, because if somebody is a Democrat, that doesn't mean that they're um, evil um, leaning, you know, which, so that's why I kind of want to get away from that is because I don't feel that way. I don't feel like all people that um, are Democrats uh, are about this uh, global movement. I don't I don't believe it. I know that I know they're not all because I know people that are not. So I think it's a phrase that's used too often about right or left. It, it generalizes too much for me. I don't care for it. So you, you brought up exactly why I'm trying to move away from that for me personally. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to explain it a little better, what I meant. Some people are insecure without someone on their bumper. <laughs> Brenda, that's funny. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. Yep, we're on I-490, I yep. We are not red, we are not blue, we are red, white, and blue. I like it, Carol, well put, well put. Exactly. 
and no matter no because because we know that what some people consider the far right there there's some evil going on there what people consider the far left there's some evil going on there you know there's a lot of good for people who ride closer to what you might consider the middle you know because i'm somebody that i used to cross over i didn't always vote republican in my local in my local um I can't even think of my words. Anyway, you understand what I'm saying. And um, I, I tend to cross uh, cross over. Y'all know that I think a lot of Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Not every single thing that he's um, that he is about, but I, I think a lot of him. I think he's a very very um, good individual. And I've been a member of uh, his organization for four years now. Four years now. I supported a lot of what he does. I don't um, support everything that he believes, but there's a whole lot that I do. Which is which is why, you know, I I, I say to people, look, if you can't vote for Trump, at least please make sure that Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is on your ballot and consider voting for him. And I also, I'm one of those people like the man that I was behind yesterday that had the sticker that I, first time I'd seen it, and it said Trump uh, Kennedy 2024. And I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Because I think they would balance each other out. Exactly, Captain Ganja, exactly. They say, you know, for, for those of us that are uh, believers, um, they say vote for uh, uh, biblical values, straight up. And if you vote for biblical values, then Robert F. Kennedy Jr. should be within your sights as well. As um, Trump. His abortion, uh, where he stands on abortion, I think he still falls. He falls in line. It's the same place that he does med it for anything medical, and that's that it's your choice. You have to do what's right for you. And um, as much as um, as much as I have stronger opinions about abortion, um, and I'm more anti-abortion than I was growing up, I still do believe that each individual has got to decide where. What you know? What what are what am I going to be able to live with? What is what is my uh, moral standing on this? You know, because God gave us free thinking, free will. It's always going to be an option. It's always going to be, whether it's legal or not. Um, people have got to find their own moral grounds, and so I, I believe that that's where. Uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is with it. <clears throat> I, I do have a problem with uh, youth. In two miles, take exit 29 for New York 96 toward Victor. Uh, not not really understanding the long-term repercussions of it. So Now people have the ability to vote on that issue within their states. Exactly. Take it out of the federal government's hands. Our health is none of their damn business. No matter what, it, no matter what health issue it is, no matter what it is. But, but I do have stronger opinions. Um, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to avoid the extremity of that conversation right now. But um, for someone who's never had any children, it's uh, and, and uh, having more gained more understanding about it all over the years. I can tell you this, it's not for me today. It's not for me today. But I've had I've had young women and that I've sponsored in, in the twelve step program and young women that were uh, clients of mine in as recovery mile, coach. Take exit twenty nine for New York ninety six toward Victor. And and they would ask me what they should do. They they were pregnant, they were in horrible circumstances, coming off of drugs and alcohol. 
and they asked me what what uh, what they should do, and I said, it's no good. If I tell you what to do, it's no good. It's got to come from you. Take exit 29. You're the one that's going to have to live with whatever decision either way. It's, it's no good. It's not for me to tell you. So I have my opinions, but that's not my Continue place to bring on those Continue on New York 96 for four miles. Because I had to stay very neutral for my work and everything. But even in my personal life, if I tell somebody else what to do, who, who am I doing playing? I'm playing God. That's not my job. And then Captain Gandhi says, still, I will vote Trump. Yeah, I think, I think, um, I think it's very important the relationships that are already established because we've got to do a quick turnaround um, for a whole lot of things and that's going to be Trump to keep us out of this one world thing but I'm not opposed to a combination of the two Trump and Kennedy yeah the Federal Department of Education yep amen it, it truly, it has, Brenda, absolutely. Um, well, it, but Captain Ganja, um, be careful, please, what you write in here, because we do like our YouTube channel. It's the most user-friendly for um, our Bumbles. <clears throat> but it was, it was not, he was not anti. He was absolutely not anti. He was, this is the information. This is where we got it from. Here are the links. Don't take my word for it. Go look for yourself and then make the right decision for you. He was absolutely not anti. Absolutely 100% not anti. He's been that way with all the children's um, diseases, autism, everything else. Here's the information. Here's, here's where we got the research information from. Don't take my word for it. Go look for yourself and make the right decision for you. It was repeated again and again. He still repeats it. And I really appreciate him for that. I really, really do. To consider options. Absolutely, third. Absolutely. I, I think that we had um, a lot shoved down our throats growing up as, as young teenage, teenage girls. I think they still do. Um, it was too one way, and and I'm I'm living proof of it. I have no children, you know, now because of it. And, um, that's a shame because I always wanted to be. But I got influenced along with so many others. Heck, I, I, I knew hardly any young girls in high school that weren't on the pill. <laughs> it's like, what are we promoting here? <laughs> A free-for-all for underage uh, teenage girls and boys. There you go. Put them all on the pill. It's called statutory rape in, uh, in uh, Georgia still. But yet, everybody was promoting, get your kids on the pill. <laughs> makes no sense <laughs> but remember the devil makes no sense <laughs> but boy I'll tell you what they weren't allowing any pregnant girls in my in my high school if you got pregnant you weren't going to that school and it was a public school too 20 when you're first, when yours was first born awesome Brenna love your babies. Beautiful right now. Oh my goodness. Good morning, Beverly. We were having a serious talk this morning. <laughs> um, well, sort of. I'm heading home sort of in a roundabout way. You know how we're doing things. <laughs> so we're going to Taga Knock. Let me see if I said it right, Emery. Uh, <laughs> I said it right. Taga Knock Falls State Park um, in the Finger Lakes to see an over 200 straight drop waterfall in the Taganak Gorge. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, isn't that craziness? Absolutely, Emery. But you know, again, we're not going to give. We don't want to give medical advice here. We're not trying to. We all have our opinions about things, and I respect. I respect your opinions. Um, what I don't respect is anybody trying to shove it on people. And um, it seems like there's a lot of that going on. A lot of um, propaganda. Push, push, push. Everybody's transgendered now. <laughs> I mean, it's bad. And if you say that you, if you say you identify as a cat, I am not acknowledging it. <laughs> we probably won't even be having a conversation for me to even have to worry about it. <laughs> Since I'm not, I'm not a recovery coach anymore. I don't have to be uh, neutral on any of that anymore. I just, <laughs> honestly, but quite frankly, the woman that I spoke to at the falls the other day, I could have done without that too, but I'm trying to, trying to stay open-minded and open in communication, uh, open in communication lines, etc. But if you're telling me you identify as a quarter mile at the traffic circle, take the first exit onto New York 96. If you tell me you're identifying as a cat, I've pretty much dismissed you and have walked away. <laughs> I don't know. I might have to ask out of curiosity, but <laughs> they have the police um, flag flying back there along with the where is my map? Like, it's there, I can see it, and then all of a sudden I can't see it anymore. <laughs> there it is. Crazy circles. Exit the traffic circle onto New York 96. Continue on New York 96 for 28 miles. Ooh, we're only an hour and 15 minutes away, y'all. Wee hee! It's gonna be awesome. Oh my gosh, I could be your daughter. Wow, that's cool. Isn't that wild to think of? My goodness. <laughs> Carol, oh my gosh, you are on it today, my friend. <laughs> Carol says, if you think you're a cat, you can eat on the floor and lick yourself clean. <laughs> you are hysterical, oh my gosh. Carol's getting all the points today. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're gonna need to have a pit stop soon. All that coffee I drank. I thought I was supposed to dehydrate you. We're in Farmington. Right, we're gonna find a pit stop. Oh boy, this looks nice. We're going to Burns Do Burns Dairy. Oh boy, right on time. My body just said, "Hurry up!" <laughs> Hurry up! We almost didn't make it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I was hoping to get y'all in the shade. Oh, that's right. We fixed this yesterday. <laughs> Thanks, Beverly. It's real. It is definitely real. <laughs> we love road trips. Bumbles love road trips. All right, sorry. 
I gotta get you on the shade or you're gonna burn up. Hold the fort, don't let anybody steal you. There's nothing to look at. Nothing to look at here. <laughs> I'll be right back. Keys are good. Oh. Watch that heat you up even more. I know, here I go. <laughs> hey, you ho. Oh, y'all talk amongst yourselves.
Oh no. <laughs> they have you guys, it's a dairy. It's a driving. And um they had chipwich sandwich. Oh no, with the ice cream in the middle. But it has chocolate and vanilla ice cream in the middle. From Burn Dairies. Oh no. And that was from Robert. Robert um, gave me uh, something to get a treat. So thank you so much, Robert. And a treat that is for sure. So far, the only things we've bought food wise are not healthy. <laughs> it was uh, Steve's Donuts 25 8 the other day when we were looking for pizza. And then it was uh, Burns Dairy. Chip witch sandwich now. Oh my goodness. So the um, the dashboard, it was probably the dashboard, Mary. It makes uh, really funny noises. I'm not sure why. When I shut the uh, car off. And um, it makes like these clickings. And last night I was like finally falling asleep. And um, I was stretching out my foot because I found a good comfy spot and um, ice cream is good for you yeah <laughs> it's good for something um, and uh, I probably have some very strong bones what do you think <laughs> they better because they gotta hold this up <laughs> and, and all of a sudden I heard a ding There went the dashboard again. Click, 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 click. I was like, what did I just hit? So I had to get up, turn the light on, make sure I hit the right button on my key to lock the, make sure the door was locked again. Because I didn't know what I hit. <laughs> and I definitely did not want to sleep all night without my door locked. And the door of the ductwork, yeah. Yeah, well, he's in a big rig. I bet you that makes all kinds of crazy noises. So, did we ever find out, take a right upcoming Route 21 Manchester to Route 332. Okay, so I'm taking a right on 21. I want to... I forgot to look at the map. Surely I'm further south than that now. It's like this map doesn't give me... Oh, are we going through the Adirondacks? Find Rochester. Are we still in Rochester? Burlington, Watertown. Oh, it was in his pickup. Well, on the tips of the biggest finger lakes. Oh, that'd be so cool. I don't want to do that. Okay, so that's going to eventually take us to 20. Okay, so are you sure on these direction, directions, Anne-Marie? We're going to go upcoming on Route 21 South to Route 332 to 20 East. Okay. 20 East.
I just want to put it in the map so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, Geneva, New York. I guess it's a casino. It says Finger Lakes. I'm not going to get lost. Okay, super. Look, Anne Marie's the new uh, Wrong Way Wanda. Only she won't go wrong way. <laughs> oh, that was that was a casino. I just passed uh, Finger Lakes Casino. Okay, so I'm 31. I'm only 31 minutes from Geneva. What's there? What's there? Canon Degua. Canon Degua. Or is that Bloomfield? Canon Degua. Canon Degua, New York. I <laughs> brought up can ams. <laughs> Canan, Canan de Gua. Oh, was I supposed to take 332? Uh oh. This one's taking me to four, 488 South. Maybe it'll take me over that way. Canon Digwa. How do you sp say that? Canon Digwa. Canon Digwa. Canon Digwa. Canon Digwa, New York. Okay, I got it now. 11 minutes. We're getting close to the Finger Lakes, y'all. I've always wanted to go. Don't hit the truck. All right, it's, it's in there now. ULA's Delta Heavy Rocket Launch. Had to go watch it on replay. Oh, I'm sorry you missed it. I know you love rocket launches. I needed to say it though so the wrong way Wanda would understand and not send me to a Can Am shop. <laughs> I told y'all dad bought an electric bike, right? It's getting fitted for fenders now. And he's got saddlebags for it and everything. He's gonna do all those um, railways. In half a mile. Turn right onto County Road 28. He went and rented one and got on their railway um, bike path uh, close by them. And um, he brought it back a half an hour late and got charged another hour. <laughs> he had a good time for an hour and a half. the light. Turn right onto County Road 28. Oh, Anne Marie, I'm so glad. Welcome back, conservative. We're getting really close to the Continue tip. Continue on County Road 28 for three quarters of a mile. The far northernmost tips of the Finger Lakes. Oh, boy, is this good. Wow. It has chocolate and vanilla ice cream in it. <laughs> Yum.
In a quarter mile, at the traffic circle, take the second exit onto Macedon Road. Exit the traffic circle onto Macedon Road. Continue for four miles. So thank you so much. We're being very safe. God bless you, hon. Been saying big prayers for you. That's what I was hoping it was. Local dairy farmers milk. Awesome. Saying big prayers for you and Brenda and okay, so it's going to take us to North Main Street, but I figure at least I can find 20 from there. Russell's ice cream on Chili Avenue. That's cute. On top of everything else is a earthquake. I heard that there were a whole bunch of places that had um, less than three um, point earthquakes uh, last night. That's crazy. Seems like birth and pangs, doesn't it? mile, turn left onto North Main Street. At the light, turn left onto North Main Street. 
the, that bar and tap room was called um, Eric's Office. I guess it, so you could tell someone, well, I'm going to the office, dear. <laughs> North Main is Route 322, where you'll take a left and straight to the tip of Canandaigua Canand Lake. Oh, boy. So I'm, I'm taking a left now on the main street. Continue on North Main Street for one and a half miles. And that ice cream was really good. All right, so we're in Canandaigua, Canandaigua, on Main Street in uh, New York, or upstate, as I think I'm supposed to call it. To remove the stop. That's probably it. Okay, I move, removed the Canandaigua. Head southeast stop. on North Main Street towards Scotland Road. Alright, we're 26 minutes from the next one. So let's see if it's going to take us the right way. Okay, it's taking us left on Ontario Street. Yes, and Ontario Street's going to bring us to 20. Perfect. Oh, but if I don't take Ontario Street, I can take 20. Okay, I'm going to go straight to 20. Don't go left on Ontario Street. And I should be able to go right into 20. Tip of the lake is on the right. Finger Lakes for the first time, y'all. For me. And Anne Marie gets to revisit them. Oh, boy. This is a nice town. Pretty old buildings and houses. In 800 feet, turn left onto Ontario Street. No. I refuse. There we go. I just set it to 20. We're all set now, Emery. Oh, this is so exciting. lights. It looks so sci-fi, y'all. We've got, they've got them in D.C. too now. 
I mean, it's good. You don't want to hit pedestrians, but it looks very sci-fi. It's run on solar. So there's lithium batteries in there. Somewhere getting rained on. Full send skiing outdoor. All right. Eddie O'Brien's. Now that's the kind of place I would hang out in when I used to drink. Eddie O'Brien's. I loved Irish pubs. One and a half inches in the rain gauge. Oh my gosh. Now I'm riding the tips of the lakes. Yay! This is so exciting. Thank you for your directions, too. In a quarter mile, use the left two lanes to turn left onto US 20 East Eastern Boulevard. Oh no, it's going to turn me on 20 in the, right, right at the lake. Lake resort area, nice. Hey Mel, good afternoon. We're heading back to the D.C. Maryland area in a very roundabout, touristy way. <laughs> At the light, use the left two lanes to turn left onto U.S. 20 East Eastern Boulevard. Alright. I didn't get to see the lake. Canandaigua Lake State Marine Park. Oh, it's too far away. No. What? But they're there. Continue on US 20 East for 15 miles. Over to the right. Oh, I just saw it through a tree. I just caught a little glimpse of it. We're on the finger, we're on the tip of the finger lakes. We're heading to Tenandewa. No, that doesn't sound right. Toganok Falls State Park to see Toganok Falls in, in the gorge and it drops over 200 feet straight down. Of Seneca Lake. Ooh, nice. <coughs> yeah, I've got Geneva in our sights. That's where we're headed. And then we're going to start heading south towards Taganok State Park. There's a Planet Fitness. If I had a Planet Fitness membership, I could go get a shower. We have things to see. More important things to do than take a shower. Geneva. Oh, good. Does it look like Switzerland? There's another Wegmans. Wegmans is like the major supermarket here. You can get all kinds of things in there that aren't good for you, too. Like chocolate cream pie. But we just had a, a ice cream witch. 
it was two um, chocolate chip cookies with uh, Burns Dairy ice cream in it. It was very good. Checking the map. Yeah, now we gotta always take the scenic route. We're free now, we're taking advantage of it. There's another Burns Dairy, I guess that's a popular thing here. And it should be the ice cream was very light. It was very nice. So y'all, y'all do me a favor. Don't forget to call your senators, please, and let them know that we demand a vote on the WHO Treaty, the WHO Agreement that it's actually a treaty, treat it like the treaty that it is, do your jobs, we demand that you do your jobs, vote on it, and then we expect you to vote no, that we expect, we expect that we will have nothing to do with any WHO treaties whatsoever, nothing to do with the WEF, nothing to do with UN, exit the WHO, period, the end, and then make sure you ask them for a written response to make your call count. It takes all of one minute, y'all. Be nice if the person you get on the phone is just an intern, or you'll be leaving a message. Make sure you're not rude. Um, you wanna be heard and you want to uh, get a written response or your phone call does not count. Please, please do this because they will be sitting down at the table within a matter of weeks. And uh, of course, old Joe has every intention of signing it. But uh, we've got to, we've got to do all of our all that we can to uh, make sure it doesn't happen. He can veto you, but that veto, but that'll put it into a whole other process. But we got to get it to that point, y'all, because it does not look good right now for us. As as wonderful as this all is, this is still about our freedom. The, the traveling and everything because if they if they sign us into that into that so-called agreement who agreement it, it's the beginning of the end of being able to do this tell them why they're no more lifetime career politicians. We're done with that. Get the shyster shimmer out of office. Shyster shimmer. That's black buggy bulk foods. Say that ten times fast. Black buggy bulk foods. It was Amish. <laughs> okay, I'm freezing.
but the transmission is good, so I'm going to put a scarf on. If anyone would, would like to contribute even like a small amount to the gas to help keep the bumbles cool on the dashboard <laughs> for our road trip, you are more than welcome to. There's several options to be able to do that. <laughs> God bless you all. Ooh. And also look forward to a uh, live auction coming soon. That is uh, a big part of what helps Glory be to be able to continue to advocate for our constitutional republic. do without y'all. God bless each and every one of you. And the jewelry auctions for anyone who's new here, those, it's all handmade jewelry from Glory Bee with the occasional um, jewelry contribution from other creators. But only occasionally. Absolutely, Anne-Marie, and they're already planning it. They're calling it X. It doesn't even exist yet, but they're already calling it. They're already putting propaganda out about it and everything else. Isn't that something? And Twitter's called X. And what's up with all that? generation they named Generation X. Were these all signs of they're going to X us out? I don't know. <laughs> no idea. Or maybe X, X marks a spot. I don't know what it all means. Well, that's pretty. Pretty church. Pretty white chapel. Please make those phone calls. If you've never made a phone call, it is very simple to do. You can go online and you can look up, um, just plug into Google or uh, Go Go Ducks or whatever. Um, Go Go Ducks. <laughs> Duck Duck Go. And um, <laughs> if you've never listened to Go Go music, give it a shot. It's pretty cool. Um, anyway, you know what I'm saying. It's very easy to look up who your senator is. <laughs> now I got go-go beats going in my head. Oh my goodness. This is pretty. We're in some rolling hills now. There's some kind of a landfill or a mine or something up ahead. Up ahead. The truck's going like crazy up above it. Antiques and collectibles. Um, this is not 20. I'm on five. Where is this taking me? Oh, look. A giant deer. Oh, I'm sorry, the truck went right by. This is I'm on five. I thought I was on 20. Ooh, we just passed a pretty river. Ontario Pathways. Oh, five is 20. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. Oh, look, it says that too, right there. Anne Marie, you're doing great. their own slide. Oh, I bet they do a corn maze in the fall. Is there really 
Lake Castle there? Seneca Castle Road. What do you suppose all this is? Ontario County Solid Waste Administrative Offices. Gosh, that truck was putting out some gas. Wow. dark as it did yesterday during the the um the full uh the total eclipse i, I had no idea it was gonna get that cold and that dark i just had no idea that was that was so amazing Let's get him out of there. I'm with you. Oh, good. We're getting there. Almost there. Red jacket farm. So excited. Y'all don't let me forget to put more water in my um, camelback. Naples. They have a Naples, New York. I've been to Naples, Florida. so much it was fun wasn't it oh my goodness god bless you thank you for the super chat you are a darling I, it was it was a huge epic day for me it really was i really enjoyed it and i just i laughed and in, in, in absolute joy re-watching my video of the actual eclipse itself too that was fun <laughs> oh my goodness i was laughing at myself too <laughs> 
Dog stroll, what's up? Oh, I'm so glad. Me too, me too. It's really fun bringing the bumbles with me. I love it. I'm so glad you all enjoyed it and, and are enjoying this too. We are exploring our beautiful America and we will hopefully always have the ability to do so without hindrance from our government. Alright, we gotta go walk off this cookie ice cream sandwich thing from Burns Dairy. Very, very good. Two thumbs up. In a quarter mile, turn right onto South Cloverleaf Drive. It's like a college campus. Oh, we're just about to, oh, we're going to be able to see a lake, I think, here in a second. Oh, okay, we're at Geneva. Head east on US 20 East, Hamilton Street, toward Pulteney Street. We're gonna go right along the lake. Hooray! Hooray, hooray! Mm, look at the beautiful trees. They're just blooming up here. Isn't that awesome? Oh, look, y'all. It's a finger lake. Here's the charming town of Geneva. stop with this maybe it wasn't sorry <laughs> I was sightseeing it wasn't a stop at all <laughs> it was a stop for pedestrians whoops <laughs> never you can never be too careful whoops nice it's got a nice park Nice, thank you, Emery. Oh, don't buffer now. Geneva. <laughs> Just stop in the middle of the highway. <laughs> what? Finger Lakes Welcome Center. In one and a half miles, I take did, the New York Brenda. 96A exit toward Ovid, Ithaca. I did. What can I say? Ooh, it's so pretty. Beautiful. I made up for running the red light. <laughs> Brenda, Brenda's getting points too now. Look out, Carol. <laughs> you know, we're both getting points today. <laughs> you get points for being funny. Pollen, pollen points, we'll call them. For the, for the beehive. The bumbles. Bumble. Whoa, 
Waterloo. Waterloo in six miles. We're getting bugs. Finger leg. Ooh, big expanse. In a quarter mile, take the New York 96A exit toward Ovid, Ithaca. Ovid, Ithaca. We're only 39 minutes away, that's awesome. 96A. Take the New York 96A exit. Oh, we're not going to Waterloo today. Continue on New York 96A for six miles. Samson's Veterans Memorial Highway. Look at all that, that old bridge, railway bridge. Napoleon of France tried to conquer the world and lost his pants. <laughs> now he swings where the little birdie sings, and that's where Napoleon met his Waterloo. Waterloo, Waterloo. <laughs> the things you all come up with and know is awesome. Wow, look at that. Oh my gosh, too funny. Ventosa Vineyards. Ventosa. So far this trip we've done 582.6 miles. Just no sleep. Oh honey, I'm sorry. Oh no. We might all have to have a Bumble's pajama nap later. I'm feeling pretty tired today myself, but we gotta go hike this waterfall. We must. It was only 300 miles away. It was so close, we had to go. We will have done it all. I mean all. We will do it all before they ever lock me down again. They will not lock us down. Kimmy Farms. That's pretty. Oh, that was charming. They had a little barn house and it had a screened in front porch. It was so cute. I don't know if y'all were able to see that. That was adorable. This has been beautiful. earlier she'll be back <laughs> I know right you're better than the pack she used to always wear I think my backpack weighs more than her backpack though don't let me forget to put more water in it Kimmy from Full House 
I was just watching a little bit of a movie. I don't know why. And um, it had the... Um, the girlfriend on there. And she still looks amazing. Unless it was an older movie. I don't know. It's kind of like a Hallmark quality movie. And she still looks amazing. Was she the girlfriend or the mom? Or I don't know what. That was a little bit after my time. Full house. Your feet might drag if Carol does. I know Carol's really tiny. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Carol's at any time, hon. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Alright, what are we coming up on? We got a dump truck up there. Three Brothers Wineries, Zugabee. Zugabee Win Vineyards. Zugabee. Zugabee. See, it's a dump truck. And there's a man in the middle of the road. Alright, good. He's not a zombie. Alright, I'm coming. Okay. It's like, hurry up. Oh, did anybody find out how long of a hike it is to the falls? It said it was an easy hike, one of the reviews, but I forgot to find out how far it is. <laughs> if it's nine miles, I can't do a lot to go to Buttermilk. It's good. In a quarter is. mile, slight left onto New York 336 East. Because there's a Buttermilk Falls um, just south of Ithaca, too. What'd she say? Oh, I gotta go left. Take the next left onto New York 336 East. A lot of signs for wineries around here. Maybe that's why there's no cows, because there's wineries instead. I still haven't seen one cow on this trip. Not one. Not one single cow, y'all. Hashtag save the cow. Where are we going? Wyoming girl, I don't know. No, we're going to, um, I, I saw that there was just a quick, uh, there was just a quick stop of 300 miles to go see, uh, Toganock Falls in the Finger Lakes. And I've always wanted to go to the Finger Lakes, and so we're going to go see Toganock Falls. A sill from Ithaca once, good kid. Nice. 12.1 miles, nice. No, I'm 31 minutes still. Wait a minute, what? Wyoming girl, did you look it up? Oh, hell no. It is not, come on. <laughs> oh, just kidding. <laughs> Could you imagine? I wonder if I did that. I, if you added it all together, I probably did do that at, um, over two days at uh, Niagara Falls. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, it was only three hundred. It was only three hundred point two miles away from um, Niagara Falls, <laughs> and sort sort of in a roundabout way on the way home, <laughs> give or take a hundred miles or two. There's a rooster. One point eight miles. Okay, we can do that. All right, we're gonna do it. Because if we don't, nobody else will. I don't think anybody wants to give me a piggyback these days. 
<laughs> Head out on this 1.8 mile out and back trail near Jacksonville, New York. In half a mile, York, turn right onto New York 96 generally South. Generally considered, considered an easy route. It takes an average of 40 minutes. Beautiful. Thank you. So excited. At the light, turn right onto New York 96 South. Continue on New York 96 South for three miles. Cows smell better than grapes. <laughs> Save the cow. grassy fields if there's no cows. But, but yet, but yet there's Burns Dairy. Where the heck are those cows? That cow is probably going to have her cows the same day you have your babies. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Wouldn't that be cow? I mean, wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> that was totally by accident. How weird was that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Nap time. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. It's that cookie ice cream thing I ate. Oh no. We're going to go walk that off. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have told you. It was from Burns Dairy. Which was really just a gas station, but I guess they have a lot of those around here. I mean, they do have harsh winters up here. In half a mile, turn Cows. left onto White Road. Cows! I just saw cows. I just saw our first cows. There must have been six of them. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm so relieved. Hashtag save the cow. We just saw six cows. Thank God. Oh, I was starting to wonder what I ate. Was it really? Take the next left onto White Road. Was it really ice cream or? neighborhood. Continue on White Road for one mile. You turn you turn down a road like this on your motorcycle and you just want to open it up. Oh, I scared you. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we haven't seen cows for three days until just now. This was three of them running down the side of the road. Oh, we got horses. All standing in a row. Oh, they're plow horses. Wow. He is plowing the old fashioned way. Oh my gosh, I've never seen it in my life. Wow. Amish. That's cool. 
Oh my gosh, y'all, that was so cool. Wow. He's plowing with horses. In a quarter horses. mile, turn left onto New York 414 North. He had six North. horses. Five or six. <gasps> Look, here comes a carriage, y'all. You're not going to believe what you're about to see. Oh, this is going to be so cool for y'all. Take the next left onto New York 414 North, then turn right onto Ernsberger Road. Oh, is that beautiful or what? Wow. Neato. Oh my goodness. It wants me to go straight and then go right. That was so pretty. I think we're in Amish country. Wow. I want to go back and watch that. The Continue wow. on New York 414 South for one mile. Oh, yeah. Amish country is awesome. I went to a gorgeous Amish farm where uh, my friend was picking up uh, more chickens. And, um, in Maryland and oh it's such a beautiful just just on the um, cusp of uh, Maryland and Pennsylvania what a beautiful farm oh my goodness oh the chickens they're, they're free range Ryan and Marie I know there's always there's so much more than cities oh so awesome there's a lot of bugs hitting my Vehicle. I don't understand. The beehive is getting attacked. In a quarter mile, turn left onto County Road 129. Oh, what about the cows, Wyoming? I'm sorry. Take the next left onto County Road 129. Swayawana Indian Village destroyed during Sullivan campaign. Whoops. <laughs> wow. Continue on County Road 129 for one mile. So it's this way too. Let me see. What did you say? What did you say about the cows? If a cow no longer produces milk, is it? It's a milk dug or an utter failure. <laughs> uh, Wyoming's getting points too. Look out, Brenda and Carol. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Very good. That was so beautiful, wasn't it? Oh my gosh. I, was, I didn't even look for the person uh, driving it. I just, I, the horse was just so amazing. This is beautiful. Let's zoom y'all in. When we get past this house, I'll show you what I'm looking at. See the hills off in the distance? In a quarter mile, turn right to stay on County Road 129. Oh, this is so pretty. <laughs> Someone asked my boys that and one said hamburger. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm with them. Continue on County Road 129 for five miles. Oh, they have a little Amish store right there. Aww. We're only 23 minutes, y'all. Four cows. Thank goodness. 
We have cows in New York. Ooh, the lake's over there. We got lakeage. Lake, Finger Lake. Awesome. So we're heading, I think we're heading kind of south now to hit the state park. Michael Dolan, good to see you, hon. Have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. God bless you. A lot of bugs hitting our windshield. it is from there to Annapolis, Maryland. <laughs> Wyoming, check it out for me. <laughs> How far is it from where we're going? Um, of course, I'll probably see 20 million places I want to stop along the way. Um, Taganok Falls, Taganok Falls State Park to um, Annapolis, Maryland. Avoiding all tolls. Pretty tolls. Those cows make burnt dairy ice cream. They, they must. All four of them. horse and plow on an Amistron. That was cool. All those different sized horses to you all tethered up. That was wild. That was wild. You're not going to believe it. Awesome. Wow. That had a couple of gals in there. They were driving the buggy. Five point five hours. Okay, that's not bad. So it was seven hours to Niagara Falls, so. That's not too bad. I can go way, way, way out of my way. Out of our way. Oh, gonna excuse me. Thank you for checking that. He, he hates cold. In a quarter mile, turn left onto New York 96 South. 
There was that ugly blue. That house was painted that ugly blue color back there. Kind of a gray blue. Take the next left onto New York 96 South. Continue on New York 96 South for one and a half miles. Bluebell is good. I like it too. Lake Country Sales. We're only 15 minutes away. Maple syrup. Maple syrup lose its flavor over time. Road for one and a half miles. So y'all know the drill. If, if for some reason along the hike, if it buffers out, I will go right to video. So y'all don't miss anything. So hopefully we'll have a good strong signal like we do right now. straight ahead. That's pretty. In a quarter mile, turn right onto New York 89 South. Oh boy, that's the lake down there. Take the next right onto New York 89 South. Continue on New York 89 South for 12 miles. There's a distillery ahead a quarter of a mile. Is that it on the right? <laughs> That's a big distillery. Light being, I know. There's a lot to be said for it, isn't there? This is like your stomping grounds. Don't get drunk by junk. <laughs> There's signs. Deer 
crossing, next 10 miles. Family visited Amish and we give, and you've never forgotten. Oh no, they, sh <laughs> they shut down the Senate cafeteria and the Senate cafeteria workers have been uh, uh, protesting for not, uh, low pay for years that I've been in DC anyway. Oh, that's a trip. Fifty arrested, good. They'll let him go. Unfortunately. Oh look. It's a river. But it's gorgeous when it's in full bloom and everything. Right now, it looks a little wintry, doesn't it? Except for the green grass. Well, we're going to see a waterfall and a gorge. It's going to be awesome. <coughs> oh, there's a horse and a shell and pony, too. Cute. <laughs> right, Anne Marie. <laughs> Can agree with you more. Lucas Vineyards, lots of vineyards. there. It's time to stretch our legs. Finger Lake Cider House. <laughs> Cider. We're almost there. Seven minutes. had a cute setup back there on the left. Sorry y'all couldn't see that. That was really cute. I shouldn't tell you about it if you can't see it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just get 
getting that buffering from all it up. Transmission goes from really strong signal to nothing. It's very strange. It's hopping all around. Like I said, for the hiking part of it and going to see the waterfall, if I wind up um, not having transmission, I'll go right to video and then I'll post it ASAP so that y'all don't miss anything. So green, it's surreal. Wow. I wonder what they put on that to get that color. Wow. My goodness. Daffodils. onto Rice Road. Overlook a quarter mile ahead. Right, we're going up to the Falls Overlook and then we're going to go down and uh, hike to the falls.
But I kind of like the idea of the surprise of just hiking to the falls. All right, we're at the falls overlook. Lots of people here. That's good. Oh, oh, infants, one more. oh my goodness. This is nicely set up. Okay, so we're at the overlook now. And then we're gonna go do the hike. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Let's see what we can see. The whole world's falling right down in front of me. I cookie crumbs in my shirt. Y'all don't buffer out now. I hear them. I can hear them. No drones. There you go. Oh my gosh, I hope I hope we've got a decent signal, y'all, because this is amazing. Otherwise we're switching the video. Oh 